Grace and peace. This is Pastor Renee, the pastor of Enon United Methodist Church in Studley, Virginia. And, you know, I went on vacation at the end of June, and in that 12-hour truck ride, you know, pulling the camper and all that kind of stuff, I found that when I got there that my feet and ankles had swollen. You know, I don't wear shoes all that much, and when I do, they're pretty limited, like I think Birkenstocks and Chacos are really shoes. Um, I don't wear anything with laces if I can help it. So my feet had swollen and I, you know, I know how to deal with this. You drink a lot more water and a lot less salt and put your feet up and usually they go down and they would go down some, but they would never quite go down completely. And so there's Smokey. For those of you that have missed the Smokey tour, Smokey, go on and take your tail. Take your tail on out, cat. There, now y'all have seen Smokey again. Um, she's sitting over here waiting on more treats. Anyway, so my feet swelled up. Well, over the last, you know, couple of months, it's just kind of been ongoing. You know, they'd swell up, they'd go down. Sometimes it was more, sometimes it was less, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's, there's nothing pretty about getting old, I think is what it amounts to. And so um, I ordered compression socks. Now, these things go up to my knees. This, I'm someone that doesn't wear socks, okay? So I ordered these things and I, I managed to get them on this morning. So they're down here at my feet, you know, it's like squishing, like squishing my feet all the way up. These aren't terribly tight because I don't know how to ever gotten them on my big old fat Richie ankles. And for those of you that are Richies and listening, you know exactly what I'm talking about, about these big old ankles. Though my grandmother Richie had them and she was a size more, so that's a whole different. But anyway, so I got these compression socks squishing, squishing my feet and my ankles and my legs to try to make them not have fluid that I don't want down there. I need it all back in my circulation system. Well, I wondered about life. You know, you can think about sausages and they get like that, you know, where there are big bulges of meat in particular places where it doesn't end up nice and smooth. And, and I think if you thought of life kind of like my feet and ankles, that's an ugly thought, but whatever. And that sometimes there's this buildup of stuff that gets there and it just kind of stretches out the skin or the casing of life. And it's, it's too much and it's not in balance and it really needs to be pushed back so that those things go where they belong and develop a balance again. We read about this in the Gospel of John. In John 15, Jesus, the true vine, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Well, if you think of a plant with too many branches growing in all of my being gone, my tomato plants haven't been pruned and kept like I was keeping them. You know, and the more you keep the right branches cut off so that the, the energy of the plant and the ground and the sun goes to make fruit, it's, it's like my ankles. You know, I need that fluid pushed to be what it's going to be. It's like the sausage that the meat got big in one spot and you need it to, to, to be balanced. You, Jesus, Jesus is life's compression sock. You know, I don't have any vine dressers in my life, but I have compression socks. Jesus is life's compression sock. Jesus will come into your life and compress away the things that don't need to be there and make it run in balance. You see it first thing in the morning. Ideally, first thing in the morning, we're to lift our hearts before God. We're to raise our hearts in praise, raise our day in um celebration before God. And rather than starting with the calendar and the budget and all of those things, we're supposed to start with this time before God so that God can compression sock the calendar and the to-do list. But we tend to get that out of order and do these other things first so that there's this great bulge of time dedicated to balancing checkbooks and arranging calendars and cleaning up kitchen counters and emptying the dryer and you tell what I do and taking care of the cats and the dogs and the whatever it is that, that takes over your morning. You know, you get out of bed and you think I'm going to go 
pray. I'm going to take my time with God. And while you're headed in that direction, all these other things pop up. If you're like me and you now do your um, devotional time on things that come in your email or in text messages, then you have your phone in your hand or your computer in front of you. And you know that that bulge can happen and the branches can grow around all of these other things that you do that that come in there. And before you know it, there's a great bulge of this other stuff. And then there's a little tiny part that is devotion to God. And then we wonder why the rest of the sausage or the rest of things are all out of order. We wonder why the feet and ankles of our life are swollen. Why we have belly fat in our life instead of being healthy, strong people. And it's because we haven't allowed Jesus to be our life's compression sock. Well, there's an image for today. Go order you some compression socks and think about it. It'd be the first prayer bead compression sock ever. We're going to sing, um, I Stand Amazed in the Presence. If we could start our day amazed in the presence of Jesus, I think the rest of our lives would be in balance. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. Amen.